So just real quick force point, can you give us, yes. I don't know, two minute overview for people that don't know what it is. I mean, I, I mean, they can go to forcepoint.com, I think, right, is the website. But just yeah. your, quick, your quick two minute overview. Uh, it's on the cutting edge of human centric cybersecurity. So basically, stop the bad, free the good. Okay. Um, global company, um, we are owned by Raytheon. Um, I see. Completely separate company, but the leaders in the cybersecurity space. Um, moving to uh, cloud-based platforms, but it's just uh, an amazingly group of smart people that are getting together to kind of solve, you know, the most current and ongoing, you know, cyber challenges in the world right now. You know, when I saw, you know, where you were working and I did a little homework, I, I'm just, we could do a whole podcast on security and all that yeah. stuff, right? Um, but uh, just real quick, let me ask you a couple of questions. Yeah. Did you have did you have somebody like infiltrate my system here just to make sure Riderflex was legit before you got on the conference call? No, I'm going to see. <laughs> how, I wanted to see how this went first, and then you. Know, <laughs> uh, I asked another cybersecurity guy one time. I said, "Do I need to like put a little cover over my camera?" Like, is that, I've seen that in the movies where people yeah, like. Yeah, they recommend it. They recommend it. But most, most corporate systems cover that. But. Um, okay. Every little thing you do matters. Is that, okay. Everything you do. How often should you change passwords? I mean, can you, what, what well, do they tell you guys the, to do? Those IT guys, you know, they, they're, they're now not simple passwords, but I, I change mine every 30 days. Okay. Uh, All right. I just, when I, when I a series of them and I go through them and you know I'm getting older so you know the memory I got to look <laughs> to a few things. When I asked a guy if I should cover my camera one time, he said, "Well, he goes, yeah, maybe." He goes, "But here's the deal: nobody cares about you. Nobody's going to be." He's like, "If he's like, do you work for the government? Are you like a super important person?" He's like, "Because if you're not, you, I don't think you have anything to worry about." <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's, yeah. I get that, but just frankly, in HR, you know, my conversations, all of the things, you, you never know what somebody else is interested in. Wow, and, that's true. And wanting to dig into for whatever reason. And, that's you know, true. that's how I think our company's kind of changing the world. It's, it, it's taking a more human centric approach, a behavioral approach to how we approach security, you know, driven by, you know, what people do every day and, and figuring out how we, turn those behaviors into something predictable and risk scale and then be able to prevent and look at risk well ahead of time. Now, are your customers all the fortune 500 type stuff or do you serve a small business as well? Small to large and including federal, federal state and local governments. Yes. Okay. The Rudderflex podcast features entrepreneurs, business executives, and the stories behind how they got there, as well as daily tips on career advice and job interviews. Our show can be heard just about anywhere these days, but you can visit riderflex.com and click on the podcast page to hear all the previous episodes and learn more about the recruiting and consulting services we provide. Contact us at the email address info at riderflex.com or 888-964-5876. Thanks so much for listening. And if you enjoy our show, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the episodes.